there is legitimately a Star Wars Civil War going on, and there was a deliberate attack on from one side of the fandom to another side of the fandom. And it's pathetic. Uh, look, there's there comes a time when it's all in fun. It, there, you can have disagreements. You can have fun with that kind of stuff. But this, what has happened here, is out of hand. And this comes from geeksandgamers.com, which, believe it or not, was one of the uh, channels, one of the people or certain you know section of people that were targeted in this attack. So this comes from them. It says the campaign to save the acolyte, the Disney plus star Wars show that was recently canceled because of its ratings were abysmal has reached its uh, reciprocity. I can't say words. Sorry. Now that presumably it's clear that people on social media who were willing to do everything to save the acolyte aside from actually watching it, that it's not coming back though one of its stars, Manny Jacinto, still holds out hope. They're targeting everyone who didn't like it. This is manifested in, into, in an attempt to get several YouTube channels demonetized, including Neurotic, RK Outpost, and Geeks and Gamers. And another one that has been recently added into that is Star Wars Theory. Uh, the Righteously Indigenous Movement originated with Rewriting Ripley, a podcast about According to their website, feminism and fandom in the age of social media sounds like a barrel of laughs. They made a video they posted on X and wrote a letter to YouTube requesting the channels they don't like be demonetized, which they also posted on X. You can see them below. So I don't know if you've been following along with this. If not, I encourage you to go check out this this website, Geeks and Gamers. They, they, they go through all the videos. I'm not going to play the videos. I'm not going to sit here and read every single tweet, every single piece of message here. And honestly, you can even go check out their channels, uh, whether it's RK Outpost, whether it's Nerdrotic, Geeks and Gamers, or Star Wars Theory. You can go check out all their channels because they have been targeted. They have been targeted to be demonetized. And they talk about it. They talk about what is going on. And whether you agree with those channels and how they handle everything or not, that's besides the point. Because, again, like I've said in other videos, if you don't like what somebody's saying on YouTube, you can simply press a little three buttons thing on and say, I don't want to follow. Don't follow anymore. It's as simple as that. You can just not follow the person or just don't listen. Don't click on their videos. It's not that hard. But the fact that they are this unhinged because the acolyte failed, the acolyte was canceled, not renewed, whatever you want to call it. The fact that they are going after YouTube and YouTubers. Yes, because it's not just the YouTubers. They are also attacking YouTube. They've gotten to the point where they are attacking YouTube because they haven't demonetized these people, because they haven't st you know, stood up to these YouTubers. They haven't protected Star Wars in their eyes. They're attacking YouTube. They're attacking YouTubers. And it's out of hand. It is ridiculous. It's ass nine. It's out of hand. Uh, I, I don't know how to put it any other way than that. People can have opinions. People can say that they don't like something. People can go on the internet and say, hey, I don't like this character. This character is written poorly. This character is written terribly. This show is crap. I did it. You can go watch my channel. You can see my videos about the acolytes. I talk about it. I talk about specifically how badly written the show is, how badly the characters are written, how bad the show is. I also talk about the agenda pushing they put in the show that I believe I witnessed with my own eyes for that show. If you don't agree with that, I apologize really for nothing because that's what I see. That's what I saw. But these people can't handle that. And that is a problem. That is a real problem. And I feel bad for Geeks and Gamers, Ryan, Ryan Kinnell, RK Outpost, Nerdrotic. I mean, th these guys are big YouTubers. They're big. They're, they're bigger YouTubers than I probably ever will be. Star Wars Theory, a huge YouTuber. The problem is they have this sense of entitlement. They believe that they can, they can do this stuff, and they believe that they're going to get their show back by doing this. They believe they're going to make enough noise and that Star Wars, that Lucasfilm, that Kathy Kennedy is going to say, oh, thank you for rescuing Star Wars. 
your little crusade on X, your little crusade against YouTube has saved Star Wars. Thank you so much. Come to all the premieres. Here's all the free swag. You have made Star Wars amazing. That's not what is going to save Star Wars. But they don't understand that. The only thing that's going to help Star Wars get back on track is better writing, better vision, an actual path for Star Wars. Again, that's the only thing. I'm not going to sit here and be one of those people that say, under George Lucas, Star Wars was perfect. Because it wasn't. There were issues with Star Wars back then. I didn't like The Phantom Menace. Episode 2, which I adore, has some terrible CGI, and this story is a little wonky. Uh, come on, I didn't like the Clone Wars movie. There are things that weren't great under Lucas Star Wars. Absolutely. The holiday special. Come on. There's people who hate the Ewoks. I like the Ewoks. I don't know. But again, things weren't perfect under George Lucas. But at least he always continued and pushed forward and tried, and it was always his vision. Under Disney Lucasfilm, it, it, it's, it's a complete mess, and the fandom is just... It is terrible right now. The fandom, it is bad. It is the worst I've ever seen this fandom be. You know, even when the fandom menace, I think that's what they're called, like crept up about six, seven, eight years ago, whenever they came about, like everybody was talking about how bad that, that caused the Star Wars fandom to be. It's worse now. It's crazy. It's crazy bad. And I'm curious to see where this goes because... I really believe that all of these people have grounds for defamation because of the way and you know, everything that they've put out there and they could go back at these people. And it, it's, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. It, it's, it's wild again. It's wild. Uh, but I, I, you know, if you, if you're following along, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your feelings are on, on all this. It, again, it's, it's wild. It really is wild.